We're keeping you safe from the storm. Last month, we talked about signs that tell you that your home is shifting. This month, we're talking about ways homeowners can try and slow down the movement, especially during storm seasons. We're welcoming back our friends at Structural Systems. Our expert, Damian Enright, is here to share some tips and tricks for homeowners. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me back. Of course. So happy to have you back because this is super important. So when people are experiencing this, a shifting home, there are things that they can do to prevent this. Yeah, they, we really, really want to focus on drainage and water flow in your home, especially with the storm season coming up. Uh, they say 95% of all movement in homes is because of water and not properly diverting it away from your home. So next time we get a heavy storm, grab that umbrella, take a look around the outside of your house. If water is flowing underneath your home or ponding right next to your foundation, you may have an issue. Okay, and why is that? Why is the fact that, you know, water and drainage so important? Well, the home and the foundation is only as good as the soil that's supporting it. So if the water and the drainage starts to erode or wash away those soils, that's when we start to see cracking, shifting, settlement. Also, we have a big problem in Hawaii with adobe clays, which are basically like big sponges for water. And that'll push, pull all the different slabs, walls, components of your home, and that can cause shifting or cracking as well. Okay, interesting. So, so then what can we do to prevent it? What can we do to fight against water and drainage issues? Yeah, there's some easy tricks that homeowners can do themselves. The biggest, most important one is gutters, making sure we're grabbing all that water from the roof and getting it away. Um, also, another trick that homeowners can go to Home Depot and take care of themselves is we'll see a big, expensive gutter system, and all that water will be just pouring out right by their foundation. Oh. So you can go to Home Depot, grab a 10-foot pipe, hook it up to each one of your downspouts for 50 bucks or so, and that can get the water away. Okay, and that's that's a fix that, you know, it's cheap in the long run, right? Because yeah. getting that water away is definitely going to save you so much more than if you have to deal with a big shifting home. Correct. Okay, so what do we do if our yards are sloping back towards your home? And, and during storms, all the water just kind of sits there. What do you do in that situation? It's a good question because we see that a lot. Uh, ideally, you want to re-slope and regrade your, your yard and your lot to get the water away, but sometimes that's not possible. If you live with a neighbor up above you and all their water is flowing back down towards you, then um, simple solutions are concrete swales, basically like creating a channel out of concrete so all that water flows away from your home. Um, more extensive, more expensive ideas would be like a subdrain where you go below ground and you collect all that water below ground and that'll flow that water away. But anything to get that drainage taken care of. Okay, yeah, I gotta do something about it because if you let it build up and if you keep having the problem of all the water coming through, eventually you're gonna have to be dealing with some big problems. So really some of these easy tricks can prevent actually a home from sliding, right? Yeah, I'd say about a third of the people who call us actually don't need our services luckily. Okay. Um, most homes in Hawaii have a minor crack here or there and when we get calls we sit down with those clients, those homeowners and walk through their drainage problems and luckily, with a little, with some small tricks, some work, they never need our, our help in the future. Um, the gutters, the swales, the flow of that lot can usually take care of most of the problems we see. Okay, perfect. Good to know. All right, well, awesome. Thank you so much for joining us with Thank all you. these tips. All right, and again, we're going to be keeping you safe throughout hurricane season as well, which officially starts in less than a month. So it's good to always be prepared and always know what you have to do to keep your homes and your families safe and prepared for storms. So thank you so much for joining us with these great tips. Appreciate it. Thank you.